Hey guys, it's me again, Mel. Uh, today I'm going to do a video playthrough of another Mortal Kombat character, since you guys like that Scorpion one. Let's do, uh, on this one, let's do Sonya. Again, it'll be a playthrough on very hard, well, on the medium difficulty level, because I can't adjust this one. But it'll be without any, uh, any continues and without jumping, okay? So with her, it's not much different than what I've already shown you with Scorpion. Just do a lot of sweeps and roundhouses, especially on the first guy. Keep him probably throwing some uppercuts, there you go. I'll get you through the first guy for sure. Of course, as they get along further, I'll show you a different strategy, strategy with her. It's much, much easier, even easier than the one I showed you with Scorpion. It's super easy uh, because you can actually just do her same, same little move over and over again. At least you can on very hard. We'll see if it'll let me do it on. Uh, on this difficulty level as well, which I think, like I said, I think this is around probably medium difficulty. I'm gonna start sweeping now. Try to get this corner here if possible. This being on an easier difficult level, it's going to be a little bit different than what I would normally play it, play through with Sonya, but it'll still be, uh, you'll still get the same idea. What you want him to do is uh, that kind of stuff right there, throw the spear, and he'll do the leg grab, and then sweep. Normally, what would happen on a harder difficult level is you would sweep the other direction, and he'd throw his spear again. But these guys are going to be super easy in this mode. Maybe when you get a little bit further down, it'll be a little bit harder. So you can come over here and you sweep, and you can throw a spear again. So, no big deal. Like I said, it's still, it's still roughly the same thing. It's just. On the harder difficulty level, they're more prone to doing more of their uh, their special moves, like throwing their, you know, throwing their projectiles, stuff like that. So, but it, it's not a big deal. And this one, you can still get away with doing a lot of a lot of sweeps, a lot of roundhouses, and a lot of um, uh, uppercuts. But the further along you go, the less of that stuff you'll be able to do. I like when Raiden does that right there because he'll just do that little flying thing in the air to knock him out. So kind of, I usually try away from do that. Just do that over and over again. When he gets close, just roundhousing. A little sweet in there, here and there. But yeah, this is gonna be pretty, pretty easy playthrough with Sonya, honestly. But usually with Sonya, if you're playing against uh, Raiden, you'll do, uh, you'll get him to do a Superman, a little flying Superman attack. So I'll do it again. Well, he'll do it again where I can block it. <laughs> There, and he'll, usually he'll shoot that right there and he'll do it again like that. That's how it always does it very hard. He'll just do it over and over again. Much like that right there. But like I said, on, on the very hard difficulty level, they'll do a lot more, they'll be more willing to do their projectiles and you can you can punish them for it. Kano, again, I always wait for him to do his little ball and punish him like that, like that. So when he does it here in a second, he should. There he goes. Just throw a couple of punches and do your little leg grab. You can also wait for him to do another ball again. Do it over and over again if you like. Just see that coming. But this may sound funny, guys. But I'm actually better at this game on very hard than, like I said, this is probably on medium or on easy. But uh, I, I play it better on very hard, just because the computer does more, believe it or not, stupid things than I'm used to. But. This will be the same same scenario. I'll be able to get through the game without uh, without jumping and without continuing. Cage, I think I showed you in the previous video. He's super easy. You just gotta keep throwing roundhouses, and he'll generally walk right into him. So you can get away from him. 
So I mean, he does that. With, there's a couple of people you can't do that with because the road hazards aren't that great, but he does that. He does that pretty, much, pretty much with everybody. Like for example, you can't do that with Johnny Cage versus Johnny Cage. I don't think you can just keep round housing. I think it'll, uh, I think since Johnny Cage's round house is so short, I don't think he'll walk right into it. I think he'll do something else for that. Once we get to doing a Johnny Cage playthrough, we'll, we'll figure out something else for him. Sonya versus Sonya is very easy. Usually when you sweep, so you do that right there, you can catch with a leg grab. And do it again. here guys like I, said, I just wish I could set this one up to a higher difficulty level so I could show you what it's like when very hard but again it's not it's not hard on this difficulty either gotta be very patient let them do stupid mistakes he likes to do his ball a lot so let him do that and punish him I think that little flying punch she does against Raiden. Oops. <laughs> I ran out of health. I couldn't block anymore. That's all right. As long as you're patient and you let them make their, their own stupid mistakes, you'll be able to get through it without any issues. See, so I should be able to, there we go. So like, that's what you normally do on very hard. When every, every time you fight like Sub-Zero and Scorpion and stuff like that, you just turn around the sweep and you just do that over and over again. You just do those kind of moves over a little, uh, little leg grab. That's a really easy way to get through the game. Like I said, when it's working properly, on the harder difficulty level, you can do that.
that watch Johnny Cage every once in a while when you're doing those roundhouses, those high kicks, he will shoot a, throw his little, uh, little fireball every once in a while. So you gotta be careful with that. Otherwise, not much of a problem. Now when we get the Goro, it will be a little bit different. It'll be like what I did in my other video where, again, the only way to beat him without having to, uh, without having to jump kick him or anything like that is just to do the little high punches over and over again. Should just try to punch at him so he might throw his eyes. That's all right, we'll get him this next round. without having to jump. You just do a standing high punch over and over again when he's close to you. And it looks weird, it feels weird, but once you find that right speed, if I can do it, you can um, you can actually just take his whole health on that way. Just like this, guys. Oops, you got me. Shouldn't have said anything. That's it. You just keep staying there and pushing high, pr pressing high punch. Like I say you don't hammer high punch real fast. You just gotta find a certain little speed to where he's kind of, um, you know, blocking. But then he'll also, I'm too close. I'm not close enough. Uh, he'll start blocking, and sometimes he'll start just taking hits. He'll just kind of walk towards you and start taking hits off of it. You don't want to go too fast, but you don't want to go too slow either. So just like that, guys. And like I said, if you keep hammering real fast on the high punch, it won't work. He'll just grab you out of it and throw you or whatever. Probably knock you in the air. Of course, Shang Tsung is super easy because he'll, he'll do everything that everybody else does. Once he turns into Goro, you just do the same thing. Or you just wait for him to turn, turn into all the other people you've already played. And you beat him with the same strategies. I thought he was about to change on me. <laughs> ah, he got me. Yeah. I, I let go of the high punch and stopped doing it because I thought he was about to change and raid and get behind me like he just did. So that was my fault. Let's 
say it should turn to Goro here pretty soon. Oops. There we go. Easy peasy. Yeah, as you saw, guys, I struggled a little bit on there, uh, but uh, overall, it was pretty easy to get through the game. Again, you just. Whichever person you're fighting, you just can't wait for them to do their, their own stupid mistakes. You know, a lot of them will try to throw projectiles at you, or, you know, with Rain, he does that Superman punch, and every time you block that low, you can do that, that quick forward back high punch, the little kind of flying flying punch she does to knock him out of the air. So with Sub-Zero, you know, when he gets fairly close to you, he'll shoot ice. You can do a block, block it low, and then do the leg grab, and you can just, you know, turn around, sweep, and do it all over again. Um, you know, it's, it's basically just kind of progressively, as far as the game goes, the higher it goes up in the game, the more they do that, more consistently, consistently do that kind of stuff. Uh, with Johnny Cage, like I showed you before, with, with the, when I used him against Scorpion, uh, you can just do roundhouses against Johnny Cage over and over again with most characters, not all, but most characters. Kano likes to do that ball, so when Kano does the ball, obviously you just uh, knock him out of the air and uh, do the leg grab. So, pretty straightforward. And then when you get to Goro, that high punch trick is, it takes a little bit of practice, but once you get it down, uh, it's not too bad. I think all of them have different kind of punches with their or different kind of speeds with their high punches. So uh, so yeah, that may take a little bit of practice to get that down. But then once you do, uh, Goro's a cakewalk after that. And then Shang Tsung, same way. I mean, he's gonna change into different people so you can you know, use those, what you already learned with the other people against uh, against him. And then when he changes into Goro, same thing, you just do your, your high punch strategy. All right guys, well that's all I have for now. I just wanted to show you all a quick playthrough with Sonya. I hope this video helps if you, uh, if you do struggle trying to beat the game. Uh, I, I know there's the other the other strategy which I'll probably do in the future. We can do jump kicks. Uh, it's a little bit easier uh, than even than this. This is the easy way to play through it, but it, you know it requires you not to jump at all. It's it's all about just staying on the keeping yourself grounded and uh, waiting for them to do st stupid mistakes. Basically, there's the other strategy that a lot more people are familiar with, where you do a lot more jump kicks and back up, jump kick, back up, jump kick, and that works pretty good. They do start blocking a little bit more as you go along, but. It does still work pretty good as a, as a good strategy. I'll, uh, I'll probably do that again in a later video, some of that kind of stuff with, with the characters. But for now, I'm gonna probably play through them just using the, uh, you know, a lot of them just using the uh, keep your feet on the ground kind of strategy. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please give me a like, give me a sub if you haven't already done so. Guys, have a good one.